Okay, welcome. This is going to be a safe and nice intimate discussion so that we can take this at our own speed. Um, 12 Basics for Building Personal Style. How I even started teaching this class was about two years ago, I reached out to a local organization called The Chattery and told them that I wanted to teach. And they said, what do you want to teach? And I was like, what do you want to teach? Why don't you just have a fashion group? I'm sure you could put something together. And I'm like, yes, I could totally teach a fashion class. So. I sat down and I thought, okay, what kind of fashion class am I going to teach? And I started looking through my wardrobe and I thought, you know what? The question I get the most is, how do you wear such eclectic style? How do you carry it off? And as I went through my closet, I was like, you know what? Everything I use has basic building blocks. And so I built two different classes. I have one for ladies, which we'll go through today, but I also have the guys in here as well. So we can go through some of the guys' pieces. I've only brought my ladies' options here today. But um, it's 12 Basics for Women and 12 Basics for Men. And it just kind of sets the groundwork for a place to start in your wardrobe. Because I think sometimes it just gets really overwhelming to start thinking like, oh my gosh, what do I even start with? Where do I even start to build fashion? And I feel like if you have some basic essential, you can basically go out and get anything you want and anything for work, any color, any style, any shape. So that's what we're going to review today. And um, my name is Kate Ford, and I'm just an aspiring fashionista. I have no background in fashion. I have a background in sales and marketing, and up until March, I was in the floor covering industry. I was based down in North Georgia, and I've been doing that for about 15 years. And in March, I decided I was going to take a midlife retirement. So I left my corporate job, and I have been enjoying my life between Nashville and here, teaching a little yoga, doing some traveling, wearing fun clothes, and uh, that's about it. It's been nice just to kind of reset. Some of my favorite designers, Tom Ford, John Galliano, Alexander McQueen, one of my favorites of all time, the Blondes, Moschino, Gucci, Vivian Westwood, Carl Lagerfeld, definitely the designers who go more toward big, bold, glam, lots of color, lots of sparkle, lots of really strong lines are my favorite. Some of my fashion icons, RuPaul, either in drag or out of drag, um, Zalby, his designer, just it just does it so well. So the ball gowns, the suits, everything. Um, Daphne Guinness, Lady Gaga, Gwen Stefani, Billy Porter has done some really fun things with the big ball gowns and the tuxedos and all that kind of thing. Carl Lagerfeld, Colleen Heidemann, who if y'all don't know her, she's in her 60s and is a fashion model. She's out in California and she is just fabulous and always looks amazing and I borrowed some of her tips and tricks as well. Um, Iris Apfel, again, another older lady in her 90s, but then she's a, oh, that's my favorite one. Yes. She asked me in the last class. I was like, yes, yes, she's, Iris. Yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. And she has yeah, gold prints, yeah. huge jewelry, big glasses, um, and she's just rocking her style and it just works for her. Um, I'm a fan of people who really have a unique style perspective and just it works it feels authentic to them and iris is one of them um amanda lapore very famous drag queen patricia fields one of my favorite stylists you know sex in the city stylist she just does it so good um basically any drag queen 80s hair bands and pop stars so that's my fashion influence um, I also take a lot of influence from design and art. David LaChapelle, who does a lot of work with celebrities and rock stars, it's always very glam, very pop, very over the top. Ellen Von Unwer, Helmut Newton, Kelly Wurstler, Dorothy Draper, old school, but used a lot of color and bold prints. Donald Judd, Art Deco, the Memphis style, brutalist, mid-century album cover art, Ron English and street art. So um, again, just bold, big, huge, lots of color. So these are a few of my looks. So some of these pieces we'll be talking about today, they just utilize my basics. Um, I find clothes all over the place. It can be vintage, it can be walking through the airport, it can be at a street vendor, it can be at a pop-up shop. Um, I don't buy a lot of designer just because I'm kind of a more merrier versus going and spending a whole lot of money on one piece. 
if I did find one piece I really, really loved, I will splurge on it. But for the most part, I stick with things that are pretty affordable, um, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't think this was just me. So. Um, I know I'm trying to get more sustainable and I've always bought vintage, but um, sometimes a $15 blue cheetah print dress is just calling my name from Amazon and I might be able to find it. But this is some of the basis for my looks. Again, we'll talk about some of these elements in here to create everything. Here's a few more pieces. Again, that duster, for instance, I picked that up in Germany. The um, honky tonk girl dress came from a sample sale in New York City. Um, these came from a flea market in Berlin, a lady had made. So really, every pieces come from all over and that's how I like to shop. But I do like to be able to know that anything I buy, I can take my basics here and it's gonna work, you know, because I bought some old things. So a few things before we start. Um, these are my basics. You can totally borrow these or maybe you're like, no, I hate tank tops. I like to wear t-shirts or I don't want a black blazer. I want a navy blue blazer or, you know, you might want to swap things out or maybe it's 15 basics versus 12. But I just teach this class to give people a groundwork on maybe how they can start thinking about their own wardrobe. Um, I do believe that price doesn't matter. And, and, and I say that not from a perspective of, I don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money to look good. I'm very much about things that are versatile. So things that you can layer or wear a lot of different ways. For instance, this is kind of a minor piece, but this is a, a wallet chain. And I'll wear it all different kinds of ways. I'll wear it as a wallet chain. I'll wear it as a necklace. I can wrap it around and wear it as a bracelet. But I try to take pieces and use them in as many ways as I can and try to find different ways for them. Um, I'll buy a lot of bathing suit cover-ups and wear them as dusters, or if they're long, I'll dress them up with a belt. So it's, don't think pieces are only for one use. They can be used in a lot of different ways. I would say one thing that does matter a lot is the fit. Do you feel good in it? Does it make you feel how you're trying to feel that day? Confident, comfortable, professional. To think about your fit, um, think about your quality. I would always say buy the best you can. Um, and second hands and vintage are great options. So I buy a lot of stuff consignment. Um, I also buy a lot of things from um, uh, The Real Real, which is an online higher end uh, consignment store. So if you're ever looking for those Gucci loafers or, you know, you want the Louis Vuitton bag, buy it. I mean, you're going to save yourself quite a bit of money. And honestly, their stuff's in great shape. So I highly recommend sourcing um, higher end things from consignment. I also believe there are no rules. I don't agree with no white after Labor Day. I think you should wear white whenever the hell you feel like it. And I want white shoes year round. Um, I love Coco Chanel, but I do disagree with her on this. Always take off one piece of jewelry before you leave the house. I always add a piece of jewelry before <laughs> I leave the house. Um, don't mix navy and black or metals whenever I throw it out. Oh, They're nice. Navy and black, like, yeah. black is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Gold and silver and copper yeah. can all work. Yeah. Um, those rules, the dated. Um, black and brown, you know, don't wear that, but no, I say you should wear it. And then also anytime you say, I'm too old, I'm too big, I'm mm -hmm. too tall, I'm too short, throw it out, just get rid of it. I think all body types, all ages can rock whatever they want. Do it, go for it. So with that, um, we are gonna go through ladies and I will touch on the guys since we've got two guys in here, but we'll start with the ladies. And I think this, this first one, this is my first basic is confidence. Mm. So just talking about like saying, oh, I can't wear that because I am too skinny. Uh, you can wear it if you've got confidence. Um, let's take the fabulous RuPaul right here in this sequin zebra print suit with a plume of feathers coming off the top. Not everybody can wear this, but RuPaul rocks it with confidence. It's fitted well on him. Um, I always think back to the Sex in the City episode where Carrie was going to wear the Dolce jacket down the runway and they put her in these sparkly panties. You have to have some confidence to rock your sparkly panties down the runway. 
I think anybody, male or female, who I see in all white attire like that, I am in awe because I think it takes a lot of confidence to be able to go out into the world and not on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Daphne Dennis, who I was talking to you about earlier today, mm -hmm. Darren, that's her. You can't unfortunately see the back of her hair, but she's usually in some eight inch platforms rocking down the streets of New York. Again, you gotta have a lot of confidence to rock that look. So I would say number one basic is confidence. So let's move on through uh, the rest of them. They're here on my rack. And I will modify these for the guys as well. But I would say my second basic is tank tops. Mm -hmm. And for guys, it's basic t-shirts. So think a white t-shirt, a navy t-shirt, a black t-shirt, crew neck, v-neck, whatever works for you. You can't ever have too many of them, okay? Um, Uniqlo is a great place to get them from. Um, they're very reasonable. I am a big believer in um, black tank tops lately. I used to be all about the black and white camisole because you can put them under anything. They're perfect for layering, just like t-shirts for the guys. Lately, I have been wearing these like a little bit more cropped sleeveless. Um, and they're just, they're just great for all different kinds of things. And you can wear them alone. You can layer them under a nice jacket. They set a really nice tone and foundation for any outfit you want to put together. So tank tops or t-shirts, either one. My next can't live without item is black legging. And I, I would just say, we all black leggings. I mean, look at you two. Y'all both have dark denim on. <laughs> Darker denim on today. What can you say? Okay. Um, mine is a black legging. So I get these just basic cotton leggings. Everything's got freaking lint and dust all over it, but just a basic black legging. Um, I get these off of Amazon for like ten dollars. I wear them under everything, especially in the winter because it's cold. Um, I did try to go and buy the very expensive Spanx guys. I'm sure you've heard of Spanx, but they make this um, kind of this leather, like faux leather legging, and I've seen so many people wearing it. I was like, oh my gosh. I kind of spend $100 mm -hmm. on these premium leggings, and I don't like them. Huh, interesting. Because I feel like they look like workout pants because they've got a seam that runs down the side. Right. And I don't, or sorry, down the side, and I don't like that. Yeah. Um, I actually found these, which are my, oh, hold up for you guys. <laughs> like a legging. Um, I got these on Amazon for $15. I wear them all year round. I absolutely love them. I would buy them over the Spanx any day of the week. Mm -hmm. So I think this just goes to show spending a hundred bucks on the premium leggings. You don't always have to do that. You can find something you like more at a Zara or um, at a consignment store versus having to go out and always buy yeah. the best of the best. But um, yeah, I did not, did not love these. Fourth. Basic is a good pair of denim. So we talked about black denim for you guys, but blue denim for sure. You have got to have denim. Um, I recommend though, when you get your denim, and I, I know, I think I'm okay to say this in this room, I still wear skinny jeans, supposedly, like 20 and 30 year olds are like, I don't do skinny jeans anymore. Yeah, I want mom jeans that come up to my boobs and like give me, you know, like, my boyfriend's got a 15 year old daughter. Every time we go shopping, she buys a new pair of mom jeans with holes in them. And I'm like, oh, girl, how many do you have? Because like, even my 30 year olds will not wear mom jeans. They don't like them. I think they don't like them. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think it's a gender thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I think even back to, I graduated high school in 97 where mm. like jean coats, like skater jeans were in. Yeah. But they didn't, yeah. they just hung, like they're just yeah, big low. skater pants that yeah. just got low. And I don't understand this mom jean trend. I just thought she looks cute and you yeah. should get them because it makes her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I like a good fitted, just basic darker wash indigo and then just a classic, just a classic pair of you guys. For my basic jeans though, I don't do any distressing. I think keep it really, really simple, keep it really clean mm -hmm. um, as just kind of your foundational pieces. I say, if you wanna go get something cool and get something with distressing or 
some type of really crazy wash, like a modern day acid wash, not a 1985 acid wash, but like a modern day acid wash, go for it. But you can put your white t-shirt on top of that. It's gonna look so fresh. But um, for your foundation pieces, stay away from any embellishment. I think they just keep them more universal and timeless. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's the thing about all of this. Um, I've had these jeans right here for like 10 years, and they just basically cut me by the look good, they feel good. This is a pair of bottom began in public 10 years ago, so it feels good, look good. Um, and that's the nice thing about staying away from embellishment on your stuff because it doesn't age it, it keeps it. All right, so let's talk about a black dress jumpsuit or for you guys, a basic suit, okay? So I would say a black suit, dark gray, maybe. Think your classic colors. Again, this is something you could invest in and have forever. It's the same thing with a black dress. So basic black tank dress. Never goes out of style. I've had this one forever. It's time to get a new one because it's really, really starting to fade. But you can dress this up. You can dress it down. You can put a leather jacket with it. You can put a denim jacket with it. And it's going to look great. Um, long, short. This is just a longer version I like to wear. And I'm going to say, too, um, I kind of made a little bit of an asterisk here. I've been saying black dress for a long time. But honestly, lately, it has been a black jumpsuit. So, um, guys, I think y'all could rock a black jumpsuit too if you wanted to. Um, the thing I love about a jumpsuit is it's versatile. And a jumpsuit? Yeah. Oh, so, uh, it's got this great, like, harem pant on it, yeah. kind of like what you're wearing yeah. today. And I wear this all the time, and I do a lot of different things with it. You can wear it just totally loose, you can belt it, which is great. I will also do things like take a t shirt. Like this is a distressed Aerosmith shirt I got from some guys out here who distress shirts and wear it over the top and just end up having pants. So again, I forgot my black pants the other night when I came here and I wore these as pants with a top over it. So it's just offers a lot of flexibility to have. Is that pants like that. or is that a open? It is, yeah, it's pants. It just sits uh, like, like that. So it kind of hangs. So like Aaron's pants that she has on today, it's very similar to, to those. Yeah. These are actually wide bottom pants and I just tied them because I didn't like them when I got out with a pair of I was like, I don't like that. So I did that. Darren brings up another great point. If you've got something that you don't like, either have a tailor, mm -hmm. okay? Take it to a tailor and see if they can fix it for you. Tie it, tuck it, cut it, Change its shape in some way. Don't feel like that's the only way you can wear it. Because I do the same thing. Yeah. T-shirts that don't fit, I'll no. tie them up or yeah. um, make different modifications in them to make them work. Um, take scarves and do different things with them. But clothes don't have to be more of the way you want with them. Um, flannel shirts with a belt instead of wearing them as a top. Mm -hmm. you, know, you could put a flannel shirt with this. Tie her on the way, she basically have a belt, put your Doc Martens with it, you're ready to walk out the door. You've got your modern day kind of structure. All right, we're going to move on to a denim jacket. And this is for the ladies and the guys. Um, classic denim jacket, never ever goes out of style. Again, stay away from the embellishments, stay away from the distressing. I bought this jacket in um, 2003, um, the first time I went to a Zara in Spain. And it has held up. I don't know how I have not lost it, um, but I've had it for almost 20 years. I still wear it on a regular basis. It is great for just putting on a light jacket. You can roll up the sleeves, make it feel a little bit more casual. You can put it over a basic white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a dress. And it can, um, it's just gonna always look timeless and everything. I also like to kind of pop the collar, even with the guys. Y'all can get away with popping the collar a little bit. I, I almost wanna record you because um, Ali and I always fight about, I always pop the collar and she's like, hit it down. I'm like, no. And I like, I said, I, I look cool with it up. And she's like, no, you don't. I'm like, yeah, I do. I like, but I like you. Next time you see my daughter, you don't have to say that. I'll tell her she's okay. <laughs> 
I love a pot's collar. It's not for everybody, okay? And you gotta have a little starch in your collar to keep it pot, okay? Right. But um, I love a pot's collar so much, so much. All right, so basic denim jacket. Um, you can get these from Levi's for $45, and you will have it for the rest of your life. Um, denim is always gonna look good. A look, um, looking at your sweatshirt, there is a look I have been seeing with guys that I absolutely love. Um, I think I forgot to mention that basic black sweatshirts are one of my guys' basics because they're timeless, they feel good, they're casual. But when guys take a basic black hooded sweatshirt and either put a denim jacket, a leather jacket, or even a blazer, you know what I'm talking I about, do that all a the blazer time. with it, <laughs> yeah. and a pair of jeans or even a pair of chinos or slacks. Yeah, it looks good. It's like that perfect point of, I don't really care when I got up this morning, but still look chic. Because y'all, I know y'all don't, y'all want to look like you didn't try, but still look good, right? <laughs> I don't care, but I care. That look. Oh, I stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't totally stopped caring because you've got that flashy white watch on. <laughs> okay, wow. you still care. Hold out. Yeah. Hold out. yeah, you still care just enough to wear a white watch. I don't think I don't see you over there. Okay. And you know you, me better than myself. Yeah. And you guys are hair working too, so I know you care. Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's talk about um well, we're just talking about lasers, but basic black lasers. Again, never ever ever goes out of style. Um, this is another, I got this at Express like 20 years ago. And I think they made better clothes then too, I have to say. Have to because <laughs> this thing has held up so good. And if you get yourself a timeless cut, it's gonna stay looking good. So you can even put it over a dress like this and you've got, you know, boardroom right here. And, you know, just one little button or just to start making it casual and guys, this is for you too. Just roll up the sleeves just a little bit and maybe give them just a little, you know, a little shape. Do you see slim fit going away? Slim fit jackets? Yeah, it's fit on, on men. I don't, I think they've been around a while. Darren, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think it's going to go away. I think they'll try to venture and veer from it, but they'll come back because it I just know. looks better. It just looks better. It looks, yeah, better. It looks better. And and I hate it. I saw somebody, I saw a guy in a Wall Street Journal that had that like boxy look on and they were like, it looks so good. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I think not. I saw a boxy look on a runway recently. I'm like, oh, you really trying to do this? Yeah, it's, like, not gonna yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah. It's not going to work. But that's back to have the basics. You know, buy the buy that jacket that fits you. That's got a slimmer fit. And if you want, go get yourself a boxy jacket. Wear it for a season. Tuck it in the back. Wear it with your. You know, you could wear it with the slacks that match your suit. You could wear it with jeans. You can do all different kinds of things with it. That's the great thing about establishing foundations in your closet, is that you can always go buy the trendy piece, and you can always come back to your basics at the end of the day. Just helps you kind of stay grounded with your wardrobe. But yeah, I think a, a, a slim jacket on a guy looks good. I've never liked the bigger, the bigger ones. Um, let's see. Okay, let's move. Oh, we're gonna need this. Black leather jacket, y'all, okay? Everybody needs a black leather jacket. Um, again, this is another piece I've had in my wardrobe for probably 10 years. I bought it at a Buffalo exchange. It's made by Rampage, which is not an expensive mm -hmm. brand at all, but I love the way it fits. I have been looking for a new, more expensive one of a little better quality because this one's, I mean, it's honestly it's held up well. It's actually better quality than I even give it credit for, but it just, it's simple. And there's no, again, there's no embellishment on it. There's just um, a color, you know, uh, some hardware that can really go either way. It can go gold or silver, or you can wear both. You can pop the sleeves up a little bit, but it just, I like the way it fits and it's broken in. And I feel like the more you wear your leather, 
the better it's going to get over time. So if you buy used leather, it's already got some of that wear on it. It's going to feel even better pulling out and buying a new jacket. But for the guys, I'll tell you what, the best place to get good leather jackets is All Saints. I don't know if y'all know them, but they usually have great sales on their leather. I picked my boyfriend up a beautiful leather jacket last year, and it was almost half off. And it's well-made, well-constructed, great lining, and it's going to last you forever. And it's going to look great over your black hoodie. Black on black. Black on black. With black jeans. But yes, leather jacket. Yeah, get one. All right, so we're going to stick with black. The black on black on black. We're going to move to black boots. I am a black boot lover. Um, and I think as we were saying this morning, with just the pandemic, heels have been worn less and less. And I, I'm a, I love a good big old heel. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love a good big old heel. But I, I found myself wearing them less and I'm like, you have to keep wearing your heels because you won't be able to wear them anymore if you don't. So um, I wear this basic black boot. It's kind of my daily shoe. Um, it's really comfortable if you're on your feet all day. When I used to work trade shows and conventions, I would always buy a new pair of these before because there's something you can wear for like eight or 10 hours a day. Guys, black Chelsea boot, okay? Chelsea boot almost looks identical to this, but it doesn't have this um, platform on it. It's just flat. And there's like a bit of elastic right here and it just slides on. They look great. Um, you can get them almost anywhere and you can pay almost any price. You can buy one for $50 at H&M. You can buy a custom boot out of England or Australia for $500. So there's a big range but a black classic Chelsea boot for guys is awesome and they look amazing. Um, a few of my other boots, I have so many black boots. I've gotten to where almost this is all I buy. I do try to still stick with my, my boot heels, but I love these little platform boots right here. They're so fun. If I hadn't been running around all day, I would have these on with this dress, but these are like three hour shoes. Yeah. Um, so they don't, they won't be all day. <laughs> and then I do have some shoes there just for sitting. Yeah. They're from car to restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant to car. Yeah. And that's it. Right? There you go. You guys have those shoes here? No. <laughs> no lie. I, I had to walk farther than to yeah. the car. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. I would have to go there, but no, that's so torture. Torture. it's yeah. torture. Yeah, we, we do it. But they're cute. Yeah, they're cute. So we do it. So the thing with the ladies is the other night um, we were in downtown Nashville and it had just gotten cold and Nashville gets a lot of tourists and younger tourists for bachelor parties. And there's this girl walking down the street in this tiny, tiny little tank top and this short, short little skirt and these big old heels. And she's just barely making it down the street. And my boyfriend's looking at her like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. I'm like, no. she's, she's feeling it. Yeah. She's going to the club. She doesn't want to mess with the jacket. And she looks cute. That's the ladies for you. What do we do for you guys? I'll see you suffer. Other black boots I love. You can get a little shine on them. But I did reinvest in a pair of Doc Martens recently, but I have the ones with the heel. I love those. Those are cute. I've never seen it, the ones with the heel like that. They're cute. Yeah. They are not comfortable. No. And they weigh a freaking ton. Well, that's not, that's disappointing. So they're not restaurant to car shoes, but they're not going to get you too much longer than that. Those are dogs. These are dogs. I'm yeah. surprised that they're not. So back in style, so you guys, if y'all don't do a Chelsea boot, get yourself a nice black Doc Martin or a nice dark brown. Do you wear Docs? No, I'm in the market. You're in the market? Yeah, I I, I don't know if it's what style it was, but I had some um, really cheap pre-made boots from H&M, but they were just like, I got so many compliments on them. Yeah. Uh, so I always wanted like something that was actually built right to have for a while. It's coming from it. Yeah, you have to hunt for a while. You have to hunt. You do. You have to hunt for a while. Um, I'm going to get a pair of flat bottom docks, but I can't find ones that look like this 
with this type of grommet on them. Mm -hmm. The grommet, I don't know why I'm so picky, but I want the grommet that looks like this and I can't find it. And I like this leather. I don't like that thicker leather. <clears throat> but once, that's another thing. Once you find your things, your foundation, your boot, your jacket, buy two. Mm -hmm. Buy two. Because inevitably, you might lose it. You do. You might wear it out. And it's going to be hard to find a new one. If you know this is a piece that you're going to wear for the rest of your life. Uh, another black boot I love, I think, especially since I've been in Nashville and I'm originally from Texas, is my cowboy boots. I've been wearing these a lot lately. These are the Casey. Um, it took me a while to find the boot that I really loved, but um, I do love this one. They're a little bit higher dollar, but I have to say they're going to last. They also let you send your boot back to the factory and will completely refurbish it for you, which these are not ready for that. So black. Boots. Okay, let's talk about belts. Okay, Darren, for, for the ladies here and even for you guys, I am a big fan of the adjustable belt. Okay, so even on my belts that have a buckle, so I had this one on today, I like one that has lots of holes in it because you know what? I might gain a little weight here at Christmas or I might lose some weight, or sometimes, you know, you've got something that's a little wider on and you maybe want to cinch it tighter and you've got something that's not as much fabric. And once I buy something, I don't want to have to buy another one because, well, that belt only goes with that. So I love an adjustable belt. This one's really fun. If you do get one that does not have an extra, I don't know why they don't do it, but it does not have the extra um, loop, all you do is like wrap it. Mm -hmm. okay. then, yeah, just, just wrap it. <laughs> and then it'll just stay tucked, tucked down. You might have to work with it a little bit, but um, yeah. So for guys, I would say for y'all, black belt, brown belt. And there's even some now that have like interchangeable hardware on them. So you can actually take off the gold, the silver, or the black and reverse it, which is really nice to have. So belts with lots of holes, but even almost more than belts with lots of holes, I love the stretchy belt. This belt, if you go through my Instagram and look at my outfit, this is probably the majority of my posts. Um, this belt is easy. It kind of tugs you in a little bit. It, you can see right away, like you go from kind of a drapey dress to having a waist immediately. Um, it's my favorite thing. I've got, you know, the belts with black or gold hardware. I get them with just plain black. Um, I even have my, you know, cowgirl studded belt that's adjustable as well. I love adjustable belts. White. This was a fun one I bought from a, a girl. She custom makes these in Canada. They're just kind of your basic to be great for the guys too. But it's kind of that rocker, kind of punk style belt. And she not only sent the belt, it also comes with, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. It's made out of rubber. And it actually comes with this little, so you can wear it like this. Again, I'm loving versatility. And then it's also got this little bag I think I didn't get girl found something like this. She could get away with it too. But then it clips in. You could get away with that if you have that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm wearing a belt. It's an updated yeah. fanny pack. It's an updated fanny pack. Yeah, I meant specifically for guys. It's like, you gotta, you gotta rock that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then she even sent the, the chain on the other side. So you can take the whole, you know, how 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 much do you want to go? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love the versatility of the fairly hold the cell phone, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Again, ladies sometimes don't care. Yeah. What about, have you seen those tiny little uh, what is that brand? Jack Jack and Mom? Jack, Jack and Mom? Oh yeah, I think yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah. I don't know how to say it. Okay, y'all, no, these purses are no wider than they yes, big. Like you couldn't even get a credit card in this bag, and they're like six hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. 
All right, so belts. Um, black bag. So like I said, I was getting ahead of myself a little bit. Um, for work every day, guys, this is for y'all too. I would say a black backpack or a black messenger bag is awesome. Again, you can carry it for the rest of your life if you get a good black leather one. Um, this is my black work bag I use. Um, I did spend a little bit more money on this one. This is a Tumi. I had actually tried out some of the, I did buy a Louis Vuitton. I bought some of those bigger bags, just a brand, frankly. And I went back to Tumi. It's a brand I like. It's made, I don't think it's leather. It's some type of um, enriched pee or something like that, but it's got a good strong zipper. I can put a ton of stuff in it. Carry it around forever. And again, no hardware. Um, I will sometimes have a little fun with it. Uh, bag charms. I just maybe dangle your keys off. I don't know if you want to wear a pink fuzzy bunny on your bag. I mean, you totally wash it over. You can totally put it if you wanted. But you know, you can add it around it. If you want to add some color to it, um, I don't buy designer much, but I do carry. I've had this little um, product bag for the last few years. I bought it on uh, the Real Real. Kind of great deal. I actually love it. It holds everything. It's like some dusting, but um, I'll put my little charms on this too, just to dress it up. That's the great thing about a black bag is you can put a charm on it, or you can tie a scarf to it, or you can do something to make it feel differentiated if you want to. Um, okay, let's talk about accessories. So I typically work with a set of like silver jewelry and a set of gold jewelry. And I pretty much wear the same jewelry all the time. I'm a hoop girl like you guys. I like my boots. I love hoops. And I have a pair of silver and gold that, you know, if I'm wearing gold, it's always a hoop. I always wear the, the gold version or the silver version of this. Um, I'll then have like some basic coin necklaces, um, usually some stacks of bracelets, a full hand of rings, but it's pretty much always the same. And it's either gold or silver. Occasionally I'll throw in something a little different. Um, I love my brightly colored Swarovski bracelets. They don't make it anymore. I still can find them online occasionally, but they're fun if you want to add a little color into either one of them. Um, but the silver set's very much the same. Um, it's in basic rings that I just have forever. It, it really is the same jewelry almost every day. I just pick from a day or another. And the other accessories that I really love are, and I had these on earlier, but um, Carl Lagerfeld's one of my inspirations. He always wore a finger with glove. These are actually from his Carl Lagerfeld line, and a little Carl on them. But I do love to wear a fingerless glove. And I also have his little Carl's and strip cuts as well, which are really fun. Uh, guys, I think for accessories, I sometimes make just really simple jewelry. It just looks so good. So, a nice a watch. Yeah. A watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A watch is just like, yeah, a modern watch, you know, something that I love that you did something a little bold. I mean, you're like, oh, white, but white is really, it's a bold choice. Um, just a classic silver, a classic gold. They make a lot of great watches that aren't crazy expensive. Also, buy them used. If you do want to buy yourself a Rory, hey, just we have about to spend five thousand dollars on a watch, ten thousand dollars. So I think this is a twenty dollar watch. Yeah. 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 It looks great. It looks modern. It's clean. No. Um, also, just maybe a chain sometimes looks really, really nice. Maybe a ring or two. I think there's some men who look great in turquoise jewelry, like they have this one turquoise ring on. Um, it's just what feels right. I've also seen men who wear whole arms, the hands of the turquoise rings, they look great, I just look crazy, but it's kind of like what feels good on you. Okay, and it comes back to confidence. It comes back to confidence. They think they look good, they know it. Yeah, they should be done. Yeah. I have a friend who's um, a rancher out in Montana, he has this big old ranch and he used to be in the fashion business. And I had dinner with him not too long ago. He shows up. He's an older guy. He's got his white cowboy hat on. Oh. He has a white tuxedo shirt on, his starched wranglers, his belt buckle, 
his perfectly shined exotic skin boots, and he was wearing this giant turquoise necklace, like that I I wanted to take from him. I mean, it was like a necklace. He looked amazing. It was amazing. A stylish, interesting, eclectic, confident. That's the biggest thing. So let me um, skip through here because we have, do have some, I want to make sure I didn't forget any guys' pieces. Basic t-shirts for the guys. I really thought we were going to have more ladies in this class. I'm a little surprised at the, uh, <laughs> the ratio here. The denim, indigo, or black, um, the classic leather jacket. These are all from All Saints. Mm -hmm. They just make a great jacket. I mean, their jackets are beautiful. Um, oh, I forgot these chinos. I don't know. Do either of you guys wear chinos ever? I used to in college. It is a nice looking pant. It's not. It's not a khaki, and it's not a denim. It's just got a softer cotton feel to it, and they make them in all colors. They're casual, but you can also dress them up. They look great with a black hoodie. They look great with a white t-shirt. I think I they love look. Those a lot. These. Yes. Yeah. And they're just. They're casual, effortless, but they're still going to make you look put together, you know. And they're not, you know. I think sometimes when you think about like a khaki pant, you think about dad, yeah, you know, or corporate <clears throat> guys, you know, the guys I used to work with with their white blue shirts and the khaki pants. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, those are much better than. And it was like this boxy, weird shape. Mm -hmm. These these don't look like that. And all kinds of companies make great chinos. There's the hoodie. So just a classic hoodie. Again, I love how these guys are wearing them. You know, you have them with the denim here. You have them with just this kind of looser pant, like a chino style pant with just a basic t-shirt. Always going to look good. And, you know, your basic colors. Um, we talked about the timeless suit in black, gray, charcoal, or blue. Um, you know, I think if you do go buy a suit from anywhere, whether it's a little bit more inexpensive or expensive, go get it tailored for you. It's going to make it look like it was bespoke and custom made for you, no matter what you spent on it. So, um, you know, the fit is really important. For, I would say almost more for the guys than the ladies. I think ladies get a little bit more flexibility with not having to be custom tailored. It's honestly a little harder to find. Do you guys know Giorgio's here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good place to go because they do yeah. they do tailoring too. Yeah, I, yeah, tailoring. I think men having tailored clothes will take your look up a million notches mm -hmm. just in tailoring alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, grab this one too. Button down shirt. So I did put a light blue shirt on here because they take every once in a while you might need a light blue shirt. But I think you also need to throw in, you know, sometimes something that's a little bit more fun, you know, have a few bold statements in there. And then of course the classic white shirt, which, you know, you can put with anything. You could put it under your hoodie. You could put it under your denim jacket. You could put it under your leather, um, tucked, untucked with a suit. It's just always going to look crisp and good. White sneakers. I mean, there are a gazillion options out there. But they're timeless. I mean, they're always going to look fresh. There's so many different ones on here. I, you know, don't usually like Kanye sneakers, but there is something about the clouds that I just, I think are amazing. Um, and, you know, there's price points all over the board here from 50 bucks to, you know, whatever you want to spend. But a classic white sneaker for a guy with denim or chinos, even a suit can just look so good, looks so sharp. Um, we talked about the Chelsea boot. So um, again, you've got that dock there in the center, which could be really cool. Um, you can probably find those online. We talked about the backpack or the bag. So just a classic messenger bag, you know, a leather backpack or something like that. But something just really simple and clean. Accessories for guys, you know, your, your black belt or your belt with the interchangeable hardware. You know, a classic pair of sunglasses. You know, you see a ring Ray Bans, and because they're timeless, they've been around forever. They still look current without looking too hipster, honestly. I mean, and then they have all of the different shapes. 
um, the watch. And then, okay, so I put this in here because my, some of my guy friends swear by these underwear called Zaxx. S-A-X-X. -X. They say they are the best fitting box of briefs that they have ever had in their life. So I don't know if y'all are in the market for box of briefs, but get some sex. Christmas is coming up, that's what I can ask for. <laughs> okay, right. So I did put a few guys' outfits together. I mean, I think honestly, sexy white shirt and um. It just looks so good on all guys. I don't care if you're short, tall, big, skinny, a fresh white t-shirt and some denim jeans and some fresh white sneakers look great on everybody. And you can see, you know, they've got the timeless watch and the bag and it just always looks good. You compare it with your leather jacket. I mean, it's just a simple effortless look. I would say that you can even make this your uniform. Like, honestly, guys could probably get away with wearing this every day and they're just going to look good. You know, a different shirt and maybe a different pair of jeans every day. But it could be like white or the, you know what I mean? Please wash it. Wash it every day. <laughs> and then, you know, we talked about just some different ways, um, you know, here with the suit, with the t shirt, with, you know, just that classic black bag with some white sneakers. Um, the suit with the Chelsea boot always looks really nice. And then here's like a Chelsea boot with a hoodie. And then you, you know, you get that trendy ripped denim, and you can see how you can take your timeless pieces and then put it in one of those more trendy pieces and it um, kind of modern up a few more. Um, we were talking about the blazer with the hoodie with the collared shirt underneath, um, the denim with the chinos. And again, here is a light blue shirt looking good. Okay, not with the khaki pants. It just looks, uh, it looks fresh. It looks clean. It looks, um, it's handsome. And that's all I've got. Um, I had a few pieces for the ladies. Normally, when I've only ever done this class online. I've never done it in person. So usually I'm in my closet, like with all of my clothes, trying on things. But um, I mentioned, you know, for the ladies, I buy things everywhere. For instance, this vintage dress is really fun. But sometimes wearing stuff like this can get a little awkward because you know, you know, you cover up underneath. So that's where your, you know, your tanks can come into play. So, you know, you've got a super simple solution for that. Um, again, being in Nashville, I started wearing more curl snap <laughs> shirts. So I try to find these at finished places around Nashville and I'll wear them with leather pants and my boots and, you know, a little, you know, one of my little tank tops underneath. Um, so finding clothes just kind of anywhere. What questions do y'all have? So um, I have a question for you because I have a lot of clients that talk to me about this. Um, what's your thoughts on capsule wardrobe? I get it. Now, I I personally think there are some people who could really benefit from a capsule wardrobe because they are like, I don't want to have to make any decisions in the morning. The capsule wardrobe, say it's 20, 30, 15 pieces, that it's what you wear. So you basically walk into your, so you walk into your wardrobe every day and you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna wear my black leather jacket with my black tank and my denim and my cowboy boots. Okay. So you would always be working from the same basic pieces every single day. I think that works for a lot of people because I don't think they want to make any decisions and they want grounds when yeah. it comes to how they do their fashion. It wouldn't work for me. I'm gonna say it yeah. wouldn't work for you. No, it doesn't work for me. And, and it's like it kills me when they, you know, I say I believe in this. I like to have wardrobe builders, but I don't really like that necessary capsule. I mean, I'll do it for them, but I don't enjoy it. Like because I feel it's so limiting. But like you said, if you if they're if they have difficulty with decisions, it works for them. I think sometimes too, if you can get people comfortable utilizing what they're going to start to consider their basic because mm -hmm. usually a capsule wardrobe is pretty simple things mm -hmm. you can start being like hey you know can we get you like something with some pattern in it mm -hmm. or you know can we put you into some cheetah print and like put it with your you know your mm -hmm. basic black blouse um I think they will get more receptive to like, oh yeah, a yellow blazer with that. Sure, I'll try that. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, we're like, oh, start here. 
I, I make them add pops of color. Like I just, I, I give them, I say, tell me your favorite colors and like, like, like let's pick something from at least one of those. And then we'll add another one. That's a great start. Yeah. I think that's huge for you to ask me for wardrobe advice. Yes. You know, I applaud. Anybody who's like, hey, help me with my style. Yeah. You know, because I don't think you can take it, everybody from like, I don't even know how to put an outfit together to like bold statement pieces. It's like a journey, mm -hmm. you know. But what do you think about capsule for yeah, this? Nice. Yeah, I, I don't I don't love it personally, but I understand why people would do it, but I and really, this is kind of a capsule wardrobe when you really think yeah. of it. But I don't like to use the word capsule. I like to use um, wardrobe builders. Basics. Yeah, basics yeah. wardrobe builders because, like, then it means you're adding on to it. Like, you have your basics, but then you can add fun to it. You can add pop of color. You can do your layers. You can do. But to me, when I think capsule wardrobe, I think t shirt, little blazer jacket, pair of pants, pair of skirt. And it just to me, it just, it's not creative. So to me, but so if, for those people that are not creative, I think it's great. But for anybody that has any creativity to do, I kind of feel like it just is not, it's, it's not going to bring out their true essence. And that's why it kind of kills me because I, I, when I work with people, I see like, what's your true essence? I want to bring it out. Yeah. I don't want you to be afraid the confidence thing. So like, to me, that capsule wardrobe is lack of confidence. But a wardrobe, a wardrobe build, builders, that means like now we have something to build on. It's something like as you grow confidence, wow, look what now, look what you can do. I don't yeah. know. It's a, I know it's just like a term. It's like it doesn't, it's not that much difference, but to me it's a difference. No, I hear you. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Like it's just that little thing. So I always ask, like, do you really want a castle wardrobe or do you want basics? You want some basics to work off of. Yeah. Someone told me I only have 25 pieces of to work with yeah for six months or whatever I would die. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm going naked. <laughs> not wearing any of that. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried. My my girlfriend challenged me I was like I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I don't even want to do it. Mm -mm. Sorry, yeah. I know you can. <laughs> I, and I do. I think it's honestly, I think it's a lot easier. It's absolutely easier. Yeah. 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 I think you can take these pieces that I laid out here. And I mean, that's probably already with some most of y'all's wardrobes. Yes. And you you can you can live in that. And it's it's totally fine. And it works. And it can look, it can look chic, it can look comfy, it can look professional, uh, it can look all different kinds of things. Well, thank you for being awesome. here today. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you.